Hi there, this is David from AppWorks, and today I'm going to show you how to make a toggle switch or a toggle button for FileMaker. It works much like a checkbox, only it's a little bit more elegant, and um, it's a, a way to easily switch a value either on or off or from one thing to another thing consistently. So normally we'd use it for something like a Boolean. Uh, a Boolean field is either true or false. It's either one or null or zero. And so in this case, we'll look at this little favorite field, and this is actually just a checkbox, and the field is called is favorite. If we look at the manage database, we'll see that is favorite is set up as a number, which means that uh, the value is either going to be a number or a null. Um, and in this case, we've set this to be a value list, and the value list is just called one, and all it holds is the number one. So when we check this checkbox, it puts a one in there, which means true. It is now a favorite. And if we check it again, it undoes the one, and now it's not a favorite. So you can see how that works really quickly and easily here. That's now got a one in it, but we see an X, and now it has nothing in it. Um, so what we want to do is actually make a button bar that'll do the same thing. It'll just look a little cooler. And so we'll grab a button bar here. We'll make Oh, probably three segments, because that's the default. But what we want to do is actually delete one of these segments, because we really only need two. And that's, we want to set it either to on or off, right? So uh, now we will actually want to double click this and set it to be an icon only button. We don't need text for this at all. Um, and because this is going to be a favorite, we'll use the heart icon. So there's two heart icons, there's one that's filled and one that's not filled. So we can go to the other one and choose the other heart icon. So now we've got two heart icons, one that's filled and one that's not. Now, I like this to be as stripped down as possible. So I've built something in my theme called an invisible button bar style. And that basically takes away all the fill colors. So the first thing we want to do is we want to make a script attached to this. And this is actually the easiest part. We, we choose a button, and here's the action. You can make this into a script, but really all we need is a single step. And it's going to be the same script step for both buttons. And we're going to go set field. And we're going to specify the target field, is favorite. And now we're going to go not is favorite. So what that does is it just reverses whatever's in there because it's a Boolean. And if you say not one, then it turns to zero or null, which is false. Um, if you say not false, then it turns to true or one. So you'll see the effect of this in a second. And on the other button, we do the same thing, single step. So these buttons do the exact same thing. And I'll show you the effect of that right now. If we click on this one, it sets favorite to done. And if we click on this one, it undoes it. So if you click this, actually either one will do the same thing. They just toggle the one to nothing. So, so it's changing it from true to false. Now what we want to do is this one, we want to be showing when this is the favorite. And we want to start off with this one visible because it indicates that it's not a favorite. And when you click it, it turns blue, right? So in this case, we go over to here, and we go make uh, hide this object when. And this one, we want to hide when is favorite. And you can just say is favorite because one means is favorite. One is true. So we want this to be hidden when this is the favorite. And this one, we want to be hidden when it's not is favorite. And actually, for autofill purposes, I'll go like this. So not is favorite means it's not filled with the number one. So this one will be hidden when it's not your favorite. And this one will be hidden when it is your favorite. So now, notice that we've got only one showing. If I click on that, now it's favorite. And now we see the other one is showing up. If I click it again, it undoes it. And now we see that the toggle is happening. Now, say we want this one to actually be red when we click it. 
uh, what you can do is use some conditional formatting. And this is actually a nice little trick. We're going to add uh, a formula. And for the formula for this, we actually want when this is visible. We want the icon color to be red. And we want it to be when true, which again, we're using a Boolean. So what that means is that always this icon color will be red. And that means that anytime this icon is visible, it'll be red. So if we go back into browse mode, we click this, and now it's red. Unclick it, and now we're going back to the regular state. So this is red always when that's visible. Now, that's the whole trick. Uh, we can get rid of this. We're actually changing data behind the scenes with this toggle button. And all it does is toggles on and off. So that's how you make a really cool toggle button. I hope this was useful. And this file will be available for download. And you can see exactly how I did it. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.